the idea today is to give you a speed and agility workout incorporating a little bit of the ball work uh, with minimal to zero equipment. Today all you'll need is a tennis ball, mini ball, regular ball, a small piece of ladder. Um, you can even paint, uh, spray paint on the ground and hurdles, but even if you just put shoes uh, or soccer balls to make the hurdles, you'll see that as we go along. Okay, so first one we're gonna do 30 seconds of jump rope, regular jump rope. And what the idea is you're gonna do as many as you can in 30 seconds. As many jump ropes as you can in 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. And time. So you keep that number. Keep that number and the next we'll take a 30 second break. Next set we're gonna try to beat that score there. Okay? Ten seconds. Three, two, one, go. Remember, you're trying to beat your score from the last set. And time. 30 second break, we'll do one more just like that. <laughs> okay, here we go, 10 seconds. Last set of regular jump rope, as many as you can. Three, two, one, go. Come on, finish strong. Finish strong, come on, five seconds. Time. Okay, now I want you to grab your tennis ball. Four minutes with the tennis ball juggling. Try to get to the highest you can. Keep track of what your highest is. So if you get to 25, 30, 35, keep track of that, okay? Four minutes with the tennis ball, and go. And remember, it doesn't matter what you get today, just keep track of the highest you get to today. Give you something to build from. Each workout you're trying to get a little higher.
Try to keep yourself contained in a four yard by four yard space as you're juggling. Forty five seconds. And time. Grab your jump rope again. This time we're going to do high knees, running in place jump rope. Prefer not to do the straddle jump where you're doing kind of a gallop over the jump rope. Right? So high knees, bring your knees up to your chest. We're going to do 30 seconds. Every time the rope hits the ground, it counts as one. You're going to do as many as you can in 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. And time. 30 second break. Keep that number. Keep that number. Trying to get three to four or five more than you did the first set and build from there. Ten seconds. And again, you're trying to beat your score from the first set. Three, two, one, go. Time. Good. 30 second break, one more. And again, you're trying to beat your score each set. One more set of high knees. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Come on, finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. Come on, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, come on. And time. Okay, grab your mini ball. Four minutes with the mini ball. And again, keep track of the highest you get to today. Four minutes with the mini ball. And go. 
Keep it up. As many as you can get with the mini ball. So for those of you not familiar, the mini ball is a size two skills ball. $10 on the internet. And again, as you're juggling with the mini ball, try to keep yourself confined to a four yard by four yard space. And time. Do me a favor and just kind of push your balls and your jump ropes off to the side. And let's everybody meet down here in front of the goal on the blue line. Okay, so we're going to divide today's speed session, ground-based speed session, into what we call the drive phase, first 10 yards, and then an acceleration phase. Um, pretty simple. So first one we're going to do, we're going to get into an athletic stance, whatever you would like to start from, right? And the idea is you're going to get to the white line in five steps by driving your knees up without doing a side-to-side -side motion. Okay, so whenever you're ready, I want you to try to get to that white line in five steps by driving your knees forward, looking with your eyes at the finish line. First white line, yep, whenever you're ready. Good, and then spin around. First white line right here, and then come back. Let's jog back to the line. We're gonna do five of each exercise today, right? So this is just simple strides, trying to get to the white line in five steps by driving your knees, right? Eyes at the finish line. And on these, every sprint stride that we do, your recovery is a slow jog back to the start line. Catch your breath, go again. Everybody does five. Again, your recovery is a slow jog back. Not really worried about the speed at this point. All we're worried about is getting those knees up, getting to the white line in five steps, and we'll kind of build from here. 
Slow jog back for your recovery. On after your fifth one, now it's a walk back to the start line. After your fifth rep, it's a walk back to the start line, and we'll move on to the next one. So the next one, everybody lay on your stomach, chest on the start line. Chest on the start line, and this one you're gonna get, you're gonna hear me say go, right? So this one, uh, I'll start. Would you like again? Nope. This time it's no longer the strides. All we're focused on is eyes at the finish line, which is a 10 yard mark. So if you're doing this with, with no lines, all you would do is make a mark, shoe, jacket, cone, whatever you have available. 10 yards from the start line. So you'd make a start line, then 10 yards out, make another line. Eyes focused at the finish line. When you hear me say go, your one and only task is to get to the white line as fast as you can. The idea is your first movement is out, not up, right? Out, not up. Go! Good. And again, slow jog is your recovery. Slow jog is your recovery. We're gonna do five of these as well. Again, chest on the start line, eyes focused the finish line, first movement out, not up. Go! Keep those eyes focused at the finish line, don't look at your feet. Look directly at where you're going, not down at your feet. Slow jog back. Eyes at the finish line. Good. Slow jog to recover. Go! Come on, come on, come on. Good. Slow jog to recover. One more. Again, we're doing five of each. Eyes focused at the finish line, first movement out. Go! Good. After the fifth one, remember your recovery is a walk. After the fifth one, your recovery is a walk back to the start line. Okay, this time I want you on your knees, on your knees on the start line, right? S straight up position, right? No bend, waist locked in the straight line with your knees, right? Straight up. When you say go, you're going to drop into a push-up position. Once your hands hit the ground in the push-up position, you sprint. And again, through the white line, first movement out, not up. Go! Come on. Let's make sure we keep our arms nice and loose. Right? And take your chest all the way to the ground. Let your chest hit the ground with your hands in front. As soon as your hands in front of your chest hit the ground, first movement out, and you're trying to get to that white line as fast as you can. Go! Come on, come on, come on! And again, slow jog to recover. Slow jog to recover, five of each. On your knees, chest high, hips tall. Go! All the way down, take off, come on. Make sure we're driving our arms, thumb from your back pocket to your cheek. Thumb from your back pocket to your cheek. Not across your body. Try to keep your sh shoulders nice and loose. 
Again. Chest high, hips tall. Go. All the way down. Now go. Come on. Come on. Good. Slow jog to recover. One more good one. Come on, one more good one. Let your chest all the way to the ground. Keep your hips in line with your shoulders as you go down. Don't get that booty out. Go. And go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And good. After your fifth one, remember, it's a walk back. Walk to recover after your fifth one. And good, this time you're gonna get into a push-up position. As you're in your push-up position, your eyes are focused on your finish line. Eyes are focused on the finish line. This time you're gonna hear two things from me. You're gonna hear me say mountain climbers, and you're doing mountain climbers. And then when I say go, first movement out, your job is to get to the white line as fast as you can. All right? everybody knows what a mountain climber is, right? Knee up, right? But as you're doing your mountain climbers, eyes focus at the finish line. And mountain climber. Eyes up, eyes up, go! Come on, get there. Good. Our movement was much better that time as a group. Our movement was much better. And again, slow jog back. Slow jog back to your start line. And we're gonna do five of these as well. Into push-up position, eyes focus at the finish line. Mountain climber. Come on, come on. Good. Remember, from your start position, from your mountain climber and into your sprint, your eyes are focused solely on your finish line. Solely on your finish line. Push up position. Eyes up. Mountain climbers. Go! Come on. Yes. Much better arm movement as a group there. Much better arm movement. Eyes up. Mountain climbers. Good, good, go! Come on, get there. Good. One more good one. Come on, one more good one. Slow jog to recover. Let's see a burst this time. Come on, last one of these. Mountain climber. Eyes up, eyes up, eyes up, go! Good, and remember after the fifth one, it's a walk back to recover. After the fifth one, it's a walk back to recover. So last one in the drive phase, we'll watch Kate here. So Kate, what I want you to do, I want you to get on the blue line. I want you to step up onto your tiptoes, both tiptoes at the same time. And as you do that, I want you to lean your chest forward as you're gonna fall forward. And when you have to take a step, you're sprinting, yep. All right, so as soon as your foot hits the ground, it's a burst through the white line, All right? So up onto your tiptoes, hips tall. Hips tall, up onto your tiptoes, let your chest drop forward. Keep your chest in line with your hips. First movement out into your sprint. Okay? Go on. And each time you go, try to let yourself fall a little bit further forward so your first step is a little bit longer. Right? So it's not dipping your toe in the water to see if it's cold or not. Let that chest go up on your tiptoes and go. And remember, as you start to sprint, don't look at your feet. As you start to sprint, don't look at your feet. Look directly at the finish line. Each rep that you do, make sure that you're trying to let that chest drop further and further towards the ground so your first step is longer and longer.
And remember, hips tall, do not let your booty go out, right? Hips tall, chest forward, eyes at the finish line. Two more, come on, two more. Two more good ones. Up onto your toes. Good. One more good one. This time drop that chest. Let that chest tilt all the way towards the ground as far as you can and then explode into your 10 yard sprint. Good. And remember, it's a walk back. I'm going to give you an extra 45 seconds. This will be a time to grab a drink if you need a drink. So for this next sequence, this is where we get into the acceleration phase. We're going to do a little form running first. So from your original start line, from your original start line, now you're going to mark off another cone, another shoe, another shirt, whatever you're using as your marker. And you're going to mark that. Keep your 10 yard mark. And then I want you to also mark a 25 yard mark. So you should have 10 yards from your start line and then 25 yards from your start line. Two markers. Okay. 40 more seconds and then we're on again. 40 more seconds and then we're on again. Nope. You're back on the start line again. So this time your 25 yard mark for this group is your blue line right here. Okay. Right? 25 yard mark. 20 seconds. Everybody's on the start line. 20 seconds. Okay, and again, comfortable start position. No more than 70%, right, to the blue line, slow jog back. What I want you to focus on on your form run, this is a 25-yard form run. What I want you to focus on, balls of your feet, knee drive, shoulders nice and loose, arm drive, right, thumb from back pocket to cheek, always looking at the finish line, not at your feet. Okay, we're going to do five of these. Again, no more than 70%. It's a form run. Really focus on getting your form down before we move into the acceleration. Okay, whenever you're ready. Good. And then back to the blue, back to your original start position. Slow jog is your recovery. Slow jog is your recovery. So this is a 25 yard form run. Good. Thumb from back pocket to cheek. Drive those knees, pump those arms, hips tall. And again, everybody does five. Everybody does five. Your recovery again is a slow jog back, slow jog back. Pump those arms, drive those knees, stay on the balls of your feet, keep your hips tall. And again, your recovery is a slow jog back to the start line. Everybody does five. Recovery is always a slow jog back to the finish line. OK, 
Okay, so now in this one, I want, it, I want you guys to get into a single file line behind the hurdles, the mini hurdles. And again, for those of you that don't have mini hurdles, cones, shoes, t-shirt, anything that makes you get your knees up over top and then in your sprint. So this is an acceleration. You're gonna start directly in front of the mini hurdles, right? And the idea is to drive your knees up over top of the mini hurdles and then I'm not concerned with how quickly that you get over the hurdles. I'm concerned with how quickly you can get to full speed once you get through the hurdles. So the idea is you place the hurdles at your 10 yard mark and then from that, it's a 15 yard sprint through the blue line, which is your 25 yard mark. So again, the idea is over the hurdles and then you're trying to get to full speed in three steps and maintain it all the way through your finish line, right? And everybody's gonna do five of these as well, whenever you're ready. Good. And the idea is to drive those knees high and in front with your heels not too far behind you to kick that hurdle. So the idea is we're working on the knee drive at the beginning and then accelerating, trying to get to full speed in three steps. Full speed in three steps. Don't slow down until you get through the finish line. Your recovery is a little bit longer this time because it's a little bit longer of a slow jog back. Everybody does five. Don't forget that arm drive. Don't forget the balls of your feet. Come on, get there. And good. Slow jog is your recovery. Slow jog is your recovery. Get a little close up of him going over the hurdles and trying to get to full speed. So the idea is you really see that acceleration in the first three steps. Good. So again, your, your, your last, your fifth rep, your recovery is a walk back to the start line. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the ladder. I'll give you another 30 seconds. And the idea, if, if you're one of those people that do not have a small piece of ladder, grab spray paint, grab string, whatever it is to set up the lines. Because for what we're doing today, it's just important that you have four or five boxes, a line to get over. And all we're doing, we're gonna focus on one foot in each space, one foot in each space. And the idea is you're going through the ladder. We're not worried about how fast you go, but try to get a little bounce in your step on the balls of your feet. And then again, trying to get to full speed in three steps all the way through the finish line. So let's watch Kate. Everybody does five. Bounce, bounce, bounce and hit, good. Bounce, bounce and hit. Good. And again, everybody's gonna do five. Your recovery is a slow jog back to your start line. The idea is that the ladder is at the 10 yard mark. Your finish line is at the 25 yard mark. So there's a 15 yard space between the end of the ladder and your finish line. Slow jog for your recovery. A little bounce in your step and hit it. A little bounce in your step and hit it. You're starting to get fatigued or a little bit winded at this point. Take a little bit longer break because the idea is that you're able to get to full speed in three steps. And again, your recovery is a slow jog. If you find yourself getting fatigued at the beginning of the workout, that just means your jog needs to be a little slower. Maybe your recovery should be a walk. 
and then right into it. The idea is that you're focused on the sprint and the acceleration and not necessarily the brake. And again, after your fifth rep, it's a walk back to the start line, a little bit longer recovery. And this time we're back on the blue line. And now we're gonna to try to put it together without the hurdles, without the ladder. So the idea is, this is what we call a build up, right? And so you're going to build up from the start to the 10 yard line, right? By the time you get to the 10 yard line, you should be at about 70%. And then once you get to that 10 yard mark, I wanna see that burst. So it's a build up sprint, right? Build up to 70% and then burst all the way through your finish line. And again, the idea is that you get to full speed in three steps, okay? Whenever you're ready, build up, build up, hit it. And the idea is that if we are watching your sprint, that we would see a major difference between your build up and your actual sprint. That way we know you're accelerating through. If you're feeling like you're at the point where you don't feel a major difference between your acceleration and your buildup, slow down your buildup. Good. And don't forget your mechanics. Drive those knees, balls of your feet, pump those arms. Recovery is a slow jog back. And after your fifth rep, remember your recovery is a walk. Okay, and in this last sequence, we're going to try to put it all together, right? So we're going to do a full 25-yard sprint, start position all the way through. We're going to do 25 yards, full speed all the way through. Make sure you give yourself a little bit longer recovery. So it's a walk back after each one because we want to make sure that we're getting a full sprint all the way through. So we're trying to put that first 10-yard drive phase, your acceleration all together into a 25-yard sprint. Whenever you're ready, let's see that sprint. And again, your recovery is a slow jog back, walk back, a little bit longer recovery. And it's a full 25 yard sprint. Full 25 yard sprint. One, all the way through. Good. Full 25 yard sprint all the way through. And again, don't forget about the balls of your feet, driving those arms, driving those knees. Eyes focus at the finish line. Come on. Remember, if you're training your body to be fast, that means you go full speed all the way through.
Guy does five, and again on this one, remember your recovery is a walk back to give yourself a little bit longer recovery. So we can make sure we get the full 25 yard sprint at full speed. Good, and now your recovery is regular ball. Four minutes of juggling regular ball. Hey, will you kick me that uh, Puma? Try to go right to left, right to left, right to left. Cool down, regular ball. Cool down, four minutes. Try to keep it up in the air the whole time. If you start to get bored with the juggle, try to do what we call an around the world. So it's right foot, right thigh, head, left thigh, left foot, and then back around. So right foot, right thigh, knee, up to the head, back to the left thigh, left foot, and then try to go back around, All right? Four minutes of juggling for your cooldown. Four minutes of juggling for your cooldown. And again, if you get a little bored with the regular ball juggling, you can go to an around the world. Right foot, right thigh, head, left thigh, left foot, and then back around. Do it as many times as you can. And time. Let's get a stretch. So the idea now is to take a few minutes to stretch. Make sure you get all the major muscles. And again, if you notice, this is more of a soccer specific speed and agility session where the break time between reps, between sets is a little shorter. The idea is to build yourself up to the point where you sprint, recover, sprint, recover, sprint, recover. If at any point during the session you feel like you need a little bit longer break, just make sure that your recovery is a walk back to the start line instead of a slow jog. We hope you enjoy it.